South Africans have finally given up and even apologized to Nigerians. <laughs> this is not a joke. I'm not joking. We're well, lying. I will tell you guys the truth. Even the South African government joined the apology. The South African government came out to speak about this issue. That's to tell you that the whole country was disturbed. The whole South Africa was disturbed. The government could feel the impact. They knew that immediate action needed to be taken. And there is one thing I appreciate about the South Africa government. They know how to manage Nigerians. They know. They, already, they knew exactly the only way that they could make Nigeria stop. Because, guys, if you know what Nigerians were already doing, if you see what Nigerians were already doing in South Africa, if this thing, had, if this thing, if this thing continue for one week, one week of this wahala continue in South Africa, Nigeria, <laughs> South Africa would not have even understood what their country would become. Because Nigerians had, it was no longer ordering bot anymore. It was not longer about Nigeria order bot and cancel it. Nigerians are very creative people. Nigerians are, see, the worst thing you can do to yourself is provoke Nigerians. I love the way other countries in Africa already know. Ghanaians already know. Even Ghanaians, when they are talking about this thing, go to TikTok, go to social media. When Ghanaians are talking about this thing, I don't know who, who invited Ghanaians to enter the matter, but they are finding a way to invite themselves into the matter. But when Ghanaians are talking about it, they themselves, they are confessing and telling South Africans that you made the mistake to drag Nigeria into social media. Wahala. You do not drag Nigerians online because you can never win. It doesn't matter who you are. You can never win. You can never, 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 never win. If you do one, Nigeria will do 20 and they are creative. So, the, you South Africans, you could only think of ordering bots in Nigeria, laugh about it and post it online. You get audacity, you get mind. But Nigerians, once they enter that thing now, they went from ordering bots, they now say, okay, let's not just order bots. Let us make sure that we create a problem for the entire bot community in South Africa so that all of them will now come and gather in one location. So, one person in Nigeria can have like five phones, ten phones. Maybe you people don't know this Nigeria. One, two, three, four Nigerian guys can sit in their room like this with more than 100 phones in their hand. They will create chaos. They don't need millions of people. Just two, three, four Nigerian boys. When it comes to internet in Africa, you know now, when it comes to internet in Africa, you know that what Nigerians can do on the internet, they know about born African that can do that thing. There's no African that can dare. So you don't even need one million Nigerians. Just three, four Nigerians sit in their room. They will just turn South Africa upside down on the internet. They, they, I can guarantee you that for free. So these guys just decided. They say, no, we will just order out the whole bot, change price, book them at a very high price so that no bot will be available for South Africans. That's how taxi fare was high. Traffic was everywhere. The government, definitely there will be a problem because just look at what happened. The picture shows how bot was gathering in one location. So already there was a problem. It was a massive problem. But now Nigerians are too creative. They did not stop at ordering board. Nigerians went as far as ordering how many fridge. One person will order six fridge. Six fridge. Six fridge Nigerians will order in South Africa. They will come and deliver cash on delivery. For them to come, there's nobody to deliver to. They wasted money, they wasted fuel, the time to drive from far and near to come and deliver to the customer. Nigerians did not stop at that. They went as far as ordering food, left and right. You see, delivery companies were moving everywhere because all that was full. They were happy. They know that, oh, today South Africans are buying. It's not like these people have money today. They did not know. They did not know that they messed with the wrong people. They just did not know. And Nigerians have, they don't, they don't, Nigerians don't teach South Africans complete. Yes, now South Africans know exactly who are Nigerians. They have tasted, they have seen, they have gone for it, they wanted it, they thought they were smart, they have gone for it, looked for it, now they have seen it and they can now go and testify. Next time now South Africans will be the ones advising people, <laughs> my guys, please don't play with Nigerians, don't play with Nigerians, they will deal with you. South Africans have learned it the hard way. You understand? When you deal with when you dealt with Chidima Vanessa, everybody was calm, everybody was quiet, nobody was talking about it. Nigerians dealt with it. They just simply say it's our sister. The only best thing we can do is invite her over to come and participate in Miss Universe Nigeria. That's the best thing we could do. And they did it and it was good.
So, you people now decided that you have to provoke Nigeria more. I don't know, I don't say now. So, your government, let's talk about South Africa government before we end the video. The South African government came out to issue a statement, which you can see. And I love the mastery of the government because the government knew if the South African government just made another small mistake in the way they were addressing this issue, if they mistakenly said something that Nigerians don't like, if they just mistakenly said any funny thing, oh my God, they would have seen another level of Nigeria's creativity. But I thank God for the South African government. It's like there's a Nigerian inside there that told them, see, eh, the best way for us to calm this thing down eh, is to tell Nigerians that you are the best. You have won. You are the greatest. You are the just celebrate. Just tell them that they are the best. That's the only way the government was smart enough to say, okay, the board was over. Nigerians will not all be. Nigerians, we give up. You people are you people are the winners. That is the only way the government is. Uh, we must celebrate South Africa government for that smart move because it's a very very smart move. If the government had delayed just for two days. <laughs> waiting, waiting, waiting for rich South Africa. <laughs> They're not for tell them. They're not for tell them. Waiting for rich there. They're not for tell them. So I'm happy that at least the issue has been resolved in a mature way for now. But South Africans must learn because if you people come at Nigerians again and go too far, let us do like Ghanaians do. Come on social media, talk about Nigerians. If you want to say that they are doing this, they are doing that, just say it on social media and leave it at that. Don't try to go beyond. Let us leave it at social media banter, social media dragging, social media talking. Let the dragging end there. Because if you now go far and try to do too much, even now, as I'm telling you now, if South Africans touch any Nigerian in South Africa again, if South Africans bring xenophobia again to touch any Nigerian in South Africa again, you people will not understand what will happen. I cannot tell you. No, I cannot tell you. Just try it. You will see. You will see that your government will go down their knees and beg Nigeria government because eh, Nigeria, South Africa has more businesses in Nigeria than Nigeria has businesses in South Africa. Me, I mean, mega those small, small Nigerian owner businesses in, in South Africa. Those are small. Those are you know so proprietorship businesses. But South Africa has mega billion dollar businesses in Nigeria. So try it again. They never tell now. Now go see ya. Hey, now go learn. It is what it is. Your boy, Ajim Max, you on this one again. Come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese!